the previous lecture we solved some problems and now in this lecture I will explain the characteristics of DC motors. The first characteristics of DC motor is uh, torque versus IA. T versus IA, the armature torque versus IA characteristics. And the second characteristics are speed versus IA characteristics. And third characteristics is speed versus torque characteristics. And these characteristics are common for DC shunt motor, series motor and compound motor. The first characteristics we can say that it is a electrical characteristics. In the speed versus torque we can say that it is a mechanical characteristics. So what is the armature torque equation? The armature torque is equal to 0.159 phi z into IA into P by A. From this equation, armature torque is directly proportional to flux into IA. Once design is over, the number of conductors is constant, number of parallel, posts, pa parallel paths is constant, number of poles is also constant. Number of conductors is constant and this point 0.159 is also constant. The armature torque is directly proportional to flux into IA. And N is directly proportional to EB by phi. That is V minus IA RA divided by phi. So I will draw the first characteristics. Yes, the characteristics of DC shunt motor. So DC shunt motor. So I will draw the diagram of DC shunt motor. This is armature. The field winding is connected in parallel with the armature. And the supply voltage is V. The current drawn from the supply is line current. The current flows through armature is IA. The current flows through shunt field winding is ISH. This is RSH. So the shunt current equation ISH is equal to V divided by RSH. The supply voltage is constant. The RSH is also constant. And ISH is constant. For a DC shift motor, the ISH value is constant. Then flux is directly proportional to shunt current. The flux is also constant. If we draw the first characteristics, that is electrical characteristics, TA versus IA, and TA is directly proportional to flux into IA, and from this, for a DC shunt motor, the flux is constant, TA is directly proportional to IA. So, on X axis, I am taking the armature current, on Y axis, I am taking the torque. Torque as IA is 0, when IA is 0 under machine is under half condition, then the armature torque is also 0. As IA increases, that means load increases, then armature current is also increases. The torque developed by the DC shunt motor is also increases linearly. This torque is called the TA versus IA. TA versus IA. But initially, some current is required. Yes or no? Some current is required to meet the losses. And after IA naught, after IA naught, the TSH value is increases with increase of IA. So when IA increases, as load current increases, that means load increases, 
then IA is also increases. So IA increases linearly. This is the curve of shaft torque versus armature current. And difference between these two will give the last torque. So TA is equal to TSH plus last torque and TA minus TSH is equal to last torque. So why this I naught is comes right under no load operating condition under no load operating condition the machine draws some current to produce the flux one current is produce the flux and another current to meet the friction and windage losses and iron losses some current is required after that even load increases then the shaft current is also increases linearly. And the second characteristics are speed versus IA. So we know that speed is directly proportional to V minus IA RA divided by phi. For a shunt motor, for a shunt motor, the flux is constant for shunt motor. We can write it as speed is directly proportional to V minus IA RA. So this is speed on y axis on x axis it is armature current as ia is equal to 0 or ia is approximately equal to 0 or ia value is low and speed is approximately equal to v the speed is called the no load speed no load speed the current is ia naught at no load you can observe the speed will be very the speed is high yes or no the speed is high at no load i am taking this is a rated speed by adjusting the field you can get the rated speed and you should not disturb the flux after that load increases what type of load mechanical load increases then ia increases ia or a drop increases then the speed will be decreases so the speed is decreases like this so from no load to full load what is our conclusion point as this is a speed versus uh, IA and the third characteristic speed versus torque this characteristics we can say that it is a mechanical characteristics if you draw the characteristics of speed versus torque torque is on x-axis and speed is on y-axis so we can write as torque is directly proportional to IA, right? Yes or no? Flux is constant. The same characteristics it should follow as speed versus IA. So what is our conclusion means? From no load to full load, the speed of the DC shunt motor is almost constant. The speed of the DC shunt motor is almost constant. That's why this is used in blowers and fans, centrifugal pumps, centrifugal pumps, lathe machines. drilling machines and fifth one is milling machines so these are all applications of dc shunt motor so based on the characteristics we can tell the applications
okay that is about the characteristics of dc shunt motor the next concept is characteristics of dc series motors so dc series motor the first characteristics torque versus ia and torque is directly proportional to flux into ia but for a dc series motor fsc is directly proportional to ia the flux which is produced by the series field winding is directly proportional to ia so i can replace with ia into ia then our major torque is directly proportional to ia square so if you draw the characteristics of torque versus ia so from the origin armature torque will start shoot like a just parabola so after as load increases that means mechanical load increases ia increases then the armature torque is also increases if ia increases two times armature torque increased by four times if ia increased by three times then the armature torque increased by nine times so after that if increase ia that isc increases but the flux goes to saturation position then after that after some load the torque is directly proportional to ia it should follow the characteristics is like this after this point the flux goes to saturation position so the shaft torque will start like this this is the shaft versus ia and the second characteristics are speed versus ia characteristics speed versus ia characteristics speed is directly proportional to v minus ia ra divided by phi but phi is directly proportional to ia rather than decreasing of this one this will be changes yes sir this will be increases more that's why n is directly proportional to 1 by ia so if you draw the characteristics between the speed versus ia if i a is zero the speed will be dangerously infinity it should follow the the shape of speed versus i a of a dc series motor is a rectangular hyperbola that's why the dc series motor can never be started under no load condition dc series motor can never be started under no load condition dc series motor can never be started under no load conditions why because under no load condition ia not is small the speed is dangerously high speed is dangerously so if ia is small the speed is dangerously high and the next one is uh, speed versus torque then ia is a star is directly proportional to ia square ia is directly proportional to root t so speed and torque it should follow the characteristics of the sp speed versus ia speed versus ia with reduced magnitude so this type of characteristics 
but the rectangular hyperbola we can say that rectangular hyper hyperbola this shape is a rectangular hyperbola the applications of this one is this is used in cranes hoist elevators and cranes hoist elevators and these are the applications of applications of dc series motor and trolleys also we can use dc series motor in trolleys conveyors and especially electric locomotives why we are using the train of the weight is very high so initially the speed is less see it should follow the characteristics in the reverse fashion the torque heavy torque is required heavy torque is required to start the train after that slowly the speed will be accelerate once acceleration comes into picture once the train will be accelerated no need to require that much of high torque so the torque will be decreasing yes or no the torque will be decreasing in this fashion and the speed will be slowly increasing and this is a very very important and third one is characteristics of characteristics of dc compound motor the first characteristic ta versus ia if you go for the cumulative ta is directly proportional to flux into ia but phi net is equal to phi sh plus phi sc so ta is directly proportional to phi net into ia it just like looking like a the characteristics which are which were obtained dc series motor yes or no so if you draw the diagram of either long shunt or short shunt what are the current which is flowing through the armature is ia phi sc is directly proportional to ia only this is the shunt flux so this is torque versus ia of dc shunt motor ta versus ia and uh, after that uh, the series motor is like this this is about dc series motor it is a increasing in this fashion increasing in this fashion after that the cumulative is less than that of the series that is between the dc shunt and series why because phi net is equal to phi sh plus phi sc it it is almost equal to ia so the characteristics of this black line this black line is represents the cumulative and for differential compound motor ta is directly proportional to phi net into ia so phi net is equal to phi sh minus phi sc see here as load increases mechanical load increases ia increases isc increases phi sc increases phi net is increases for cumulative but here phi sc increases with the increasing of load up to this is same but the net value of the flux is decreases so one is increasing and another one is decreasing then i got the differential characteristics are like this okay so one more uh, curve it is speed versus ia for a cumulative phi net is equal to 
5sh plus 5sc n is directly proportional to v minus iare divided by phi net n is inversely proportional to 5sh plus 5sc if you draw the characteristics between speed versus ia speed versus ia i am taking the rated speed is the reference you can observe that you can observe that the dc shunt motor is lagging the speed of the dc shunt motor is lagging like this from no load to full load the speed is almost constant if you go for the cumulative cumulative is like this so i am uh, representing with the different colors red line so this is called the cumulative and uh, the series motor is this is a dc series motor and one more uh, thing is missing for a differential for a differential as load increases yes the same story mechanical load increases ia increases phi s increases phi s h is constant phi net increases for cumulative but phi net decreases for differential as load increases uh, phi s yes, this will be increases the speed will be decreases like this so that's why so two fluxes are there the decreasing in speed is more when compared to dc shunt motor that's why the curve is like this if you go for this one as load increases the speed is also increases because the speed and flux both are is inversely proportional in the cumulative and the speed and the flux both are is inversely proportional in differential also but as load increases phi net value decreases and the speed will be increases so as load increases and uh, speed is also increases this type of machine we can't use at anywhere so differential compound motor differential compound motor has no applications has no applications has no applications and cumulative compound motor applications are it is a mixing of compound motor sir no the speed versus torque is also yes the speed versus torque is also having a same characteristics that is a third characteristic speed versus torque is also same thing the application of cumulative compound motor what are the shunt motor applications and series motor applications uh, uh, it has it is used in rolling rolling mills rolling mills punches and shears heavy planers heavy planers and elevators elevators okay so with this uh, the characteristics of uh, all the dc motors were over thank you guys